From American Graffiti to Police Academy, Deborah Lee Scott was a screen sensation in the 70s and 80s, but suddenly she devolved into a shadow of herself that led to her untimely death. But what led to Deborah Lee Scott's unexpected demise? Follow us along as we uncover the rare photos and untold stories of Deborah Lee Scott. Deborah Lee Scott was born on April 2, 1953 in the humble town of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Tragedy struck the family early on when little Ardeth Lynn Scott, her other sister, passed away in infancy. The loss left a lingering ache in their hearts and the pain of losing a sibling so young weighed heavily on their lives. But being the strong lady that she is, she didn't stop pursuing her dreams. She graduated from the Galileo Academy of Science and Technology in 1971 and began her acting career at the American Conservatory Theatre, eager to make her mark on the world. Her journey into fame started humbly with small local productions, but she poured her heart into each role with boundless enthusiasm. Soon, the stage was set for bigger opportunities and she embraced them with fervor. In 1971, she landed her first acting gig, though it was uncredited in the movie Dirty Harry. She portrayed the lifeless body of Anne Mary Deacon, a young girl who suffered a tragic fate at the hands of the Scorpio Killer. It was a haunting and heartbreaking portrayal that foreshadowed the shadows she would face in her own life. The glimmering lights of Hollywood continued to beckon her closer, and she got another role in the acclaimed film American Graffiti in 1973. Deborah Lee Scott played the role of the girlfriend of none other than Harrison Ford himself. The movie's success made it one of the most profitable films of all time, and Deborah Lee's performance shone like a diamond amid the stars. But as Deborah Lee Scott's career flourished, so did her inner battles. In the midst of fame, she yearned for a sense of belonging, grappling with insecurities that seemed impossible to shake. But she didn't give up trying and kept putting her best efforts every step of the way. Then, in 1976, at just 22 years old, she got her big break in the satirical soap opera, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. It was like a dream come true, and she finally tasted a bit of fame. Deborah Lee Scott played the role of Kathy Lorraine Shumway, the vampish sister of the show's main character, Mary Penny Hartman, portrayed by Louise Lasser. And even when Louise left the show in 1977, Deborah Lee stayed strong, continuing her role as the show transformed into Forever Fernwood. Her comedic skills and natural talent shone through, and people finally started recognizing her as a brilliant actress. As time went on, Deborah Lee Scott embraced various roles in television shows and made guest appearances. She even took a shot at the big screen with a few film projects, displaying her versatility as an actress. People admired her for effortlessly stepping into different genres, solidifying her reputation as a truly talented performer. And she wasn't just confined to acting either. Deborah Lee became a host for celebrity quiz game shows like The $10,000 Pyramid, Super Password, and Match Game. Her charm and wit made her a natural fit for these shows, and fans loved seeing her on their screens. For a while, things seemed to be going well. She even landed roles in two Police Academy movies, adding more feathers to her cap. But life has a way of throwing unexpected turns, and eventually the spotlight began to fade. As the years passed, the spotlight that once shined so brightly on Deborah Lee began to dim. The roles became scarce, and the offers dwindled. It's the sad reality of the entertainment world. One moment you're in the spotlight, and the next it slips away. As the camera stopped rolling for her, Deborah Lee chose a different path, one behind the camera. She retired from acting and ventured into a new chapter of her life. She became an agent for a company in New York called Empowered Artists. It was a significant change, but perhaps it was a chance to find a different kind of fulfillment. The decision to retire from acting must have been bittersweet. Though she found a new role behind the camera, it meant leaving behind the craft she loved and the audiences she had touched. It's a reminder that even for those who have tasted success, life can lead us down unexpected paths. And so the curtain fell on Deborah Lee Scott's acting career, leaving us with memories of her versatile performances and the laughter she brought into our lives. Well, in the midst of her busy career, she had a brief but significant relationship with actor James Woods in the 1970s. Fate brought them together on the set of the TV sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. Deborah Lee played the role of Rosalie Hotsy Totsy while James guest starred as Alex Wells, a drama coach in the episode titled The Great Debate. Both young and ambitious, they connected over their shared passion for acting, and even with the demanding schedules, their love bloomed. 
but the demands of their burgeoning careers consumed much of their time. With acting taking center stage in their lives, there may not have been enough moments to nurture their relationship. Sadly, as quickly as their love ignited, it faded away, and they had to part ways. Not long after, she crossed paths with Robert Hayes on the TV sitcom Angie. In the show, she played the role of Angie's younger sister, Marie, while Robert portrayed Angie's wealthy husband, Brad. Their on-screen chemistry spilled into reality and they became romantically involved. The connection was so strong that they got engaged in 1980. But like the fleeting moments of happiness she had experienced before, this love story also met an untimely end and they parted ways just a year after their engagement. Years passed and the hope of love was rekindled when she met John Dennis Levi, a police officer with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. They fell deeply in love and once again she found herself happily engaged, envisioning a lifetime of joy together. During a cross-country trip to Winslow, Arizona, he proposed to her and their love seemed destined for a bright future. They planned to marry in the enchanting paradise of Hawaii, where their love story could truly flourish. Their love was so genuine and profound that they couldn't wait to start a family together. But the tides of life can be cruel and unpredictable. The horrific events of 9-11 shattered their dreams, taking John Dennis Levi away from her forever. He was one of the brave souls who rushed into the World Trade Center to save lives but never returned. The loss left Deborah Lee broken, as if a part of her had been torn away. She mourned the man she called the love of her life feeling incomplete without him and dreaming of a future that was now forever out of reach. Her worst day seemed to be just beginning and she found herself battling with demons that seemed insurmountable. The shadows of despair loomed larger with each passing day. Her once promising career in stardom was weighed down by personal disappointments and the loss of her beloved, leaving her heartbroken and lost. She started drinking and her mental health took a toll. Then, in a cruel twist of fate, she received news that her elder sister, Carol Ann, was suffering from emphysema and heart problems, so she had to travel from Brooklyn to Fernandina Beach, Florida to care for her beloved sister. But life's cruel hand intervened once more. In a shocking turn of events, while selflessly caring for her sister, Deborah Lee collapsed and slipped into a coma, and even the doctors couldn't explain the cause. It was a terrifying ordeal that left everyone in shock and fear but they anxiously awaited for her to wake up, hoping for a miracle. And when she finally awoke from her coma, instead of relief, she met with another devastating news. She was diagnosed with cirrhosis, a condition often associated with past alcohol abuse. It felt like a harsh punishment for her past struggles with drinking, and she felt life was determined to take everything from her. However, March 31, 2005, brought a glimmer of hope as she woke up in the hospital, underwent eye surgery, and was released on her birthday, seemingly on the path to recovery. But the cruel hand of fate wasn't done with its torment. Just three days later, on April 5, 2005, Deborah Lee Scott laid down to rest, but she never woke up. She passed away peacefully in her sleep at the age of 52. An autopsy was conducted, but the specific cause of her death remained unknown leaving her loved ones to grapple with the painful mystery. In the end, she was cremated, leaving behind only memories of the shining star she once was. If you enjoyed this video, please support us with a like and be sure to check out the videos on the end screen of beautiful actresses from yesteryears.